Hi, my name is Steve Bowler, and in this video, uh, I'm going to be doing a configuration. I'm going to be configuring MPLS, that's multi protocol label switching. And what I'm going to be doing here is um, implementing a MPLS unicast IP forwarding. Um, MPLS is used unlike you know your typical routing protocols uh, MPLS is often described as layer 2.5 and it is basically uh, uses uh, labels to uh, you know switch it switches labels instead of you know um, switching um, you know having to go into the routing table and do a, a lookup on you know uh, next top destinations so what you get is faster performance with MPLS as compared to your regular you know, um, routing protocols per se. And, uh, don't get me wrong, you're still running MPLS over your existing IGP or, or uh, you know, routing protocol. Uh, that's how MPLS knows how to get, how it knows the best path around your, your network is via your IGP, um, but MPLS, you know, it just, it uses labels instead of IP addresses and subnets to, uh, you know, to switch packets. And you have to have, you know, Cisco Express 40 and RCEF enabled, you know, on your devices it's not going to work because it needs the 40 information base to uh, perform the lookups. So you're using the, the Ford information base uh, and then you also have the creation of two other information bases with MPLS. You have the label information base and you have the label forwarding information base. So you have the FIB, the LIB, and the LFIB. And the LIB is um, created in the control plane of the router. And the LFIB is located in the data plane. Okay, so that's enough theory for now. Um, what I want to do is put some of this into uh, practice here on the routers as you can see I got them all running already got them all configured got the loopbacks configured and what I'm going to be doing is I have two customer routers customer one customer two uh, what I'm going to be doing is running um, MPLS here on I on the ISP routers ISP router one router two and router three and I'm also going to implement uh, an interior gateway protocol So let's go ahead and uh, get this started here. So I'm just going to run EIGRP process one on uh, all the uh, ISP routers to put in the networks. So I'm on ISP router one. I'm going to be going to advertise. 30010 and my directly connected network's pretty much and then I'm going to do network uh, 192.168.12.0 going to router ISP router 2 Networks directly connected 192.168.12.0 and 
ISP one or ISP router three. Process one and then our networks one thirty zero two zero and then my slash thirty so that mask. adjacencies up. Go on to R2 and just make sure I have two adjacencies up, one to R1 and one to R3. Just do a show IP a GRP neighbor. And as you can see our uptime has been established for my connections here to uh, router one and router two. Oh, I'm sorry, router one and router three. I'm just going to go on to ISP1 router 3 real fast and verify this connectivity. I'm sorry, ISP router 3. Let me show IP route. You can see I am learning these EIGRP networks that are shown here with the D. I just want to see if I can ping from router 3 all the way to ISP1. I'm sorry, ISP router 1. It's external interface to customer. So we can ping that real fast. 130. Uh, okay. Looks like I have a problem here. I forgot to summarize or turn off auto summarization. So I'm going to go into. See, as you can see here, I'm not seeing a 130.01 network. I'm just seeing a, uh, a summary address coming, coming in. And what that's doing is throwing me off. So what I need to do is uh, do a no auto summary on all my routers. Finally, ISP router one, FT, router EIGRP one, no auto, and that should be it. We should be good to go. So let's go back to router three, and let's do a uh, show IP route now. Yeah, it looks like I'm not learning it yet. Just give me a second. I got it here. Let's see if I can that again. All right, so I can ping all the way from ISP router three. I can ping router one's external interface to customer one. So we have full reachability across our ISP network. Um, now what I want to do is uh, set up my connections. Now I'm just doing this for simplicity. I, I Usually you probably run a BGP to your customers um, sometimes. I mean if in this case the customer is just a single home, there's only one connection to the customers, uh, you probably just be running static